Mine has a full set of EPUB type semantics built in. They're an added layer of semantic inflection that can be applied at the object level to provide an outline to the bones of content. Wherever possible, let the HTML do the semantic heavy lifting for you. In a simple chapter, having the body of a chapter wrapped in a section tag, but in order to distinguish that section from a section wrapping, say, the part title page, for example, you might consider adding in some code that delineates the chapter as such. A limitation of the core HTML markup grammar is that it's not well suited for differentiating common publishing structures. There may be hundreds, for example, of aside elements in a publication, but reliably identifying which ones represent notes from sidebars from warnings and alerts has not been possible in the past. For sighted users, the deficiency this causes has been masked by the enhanced visual rendering that CSS style sheets afford, so backgrounds, borders, shading, etc. are used to convey roles visually. Users of assistive technologies rely on an understanding of the underlying markup in order to facilitate navigation. So web-based technologies have only had limited accessibility because primary and secondary material was often indistinguishable below the surface. To make publications more accessible, you need to consider that many users will be interacting with the content in non-visual ways. To facilitate this, applying semantics allows more precise meanings to be applied to generic tags. So a little bit of what that looks like is here on the screen. When we look at the landmarks, these are these all come from semantics. So cover, title page, front matter, start of content, etc. Don't look at the content of that ebook, just look at the outlines of it. Let's go into InDesign and have a look at what that looks like. So buried in, I'm gonna highlight, I'm gonna highlight the frame at the front of the first chapter. Buried in the Object, Object, Export Options menu is a flyout menu of EPUB typed options. Let's have a look at what that looks like. So this only works with the selection tool on and with the frame at the beginning of something um, selected. I'll show you in a minute what to do about threads. So go up to Object and Object Export Options and then move the Object Export Options to the right screen. Sorry about that. Um, and then here is the full set of EPUB type semantics built into InDesign. So these kinds of semantics are used to denote the start of front matter, body matter, and back matter, and can be used to and can be used to label the many many elements of book like content. The behavior of pop up footnotes, for example, are driven by, in this case, automatically generated EPUB type semantics. So. For the start of a chapter, um, we have that selected. We're going to choose Document Divisions Chapter. So that's what was already done there. You might also consider this the start of the body matter. This is where you want the EPUB to open. So you could add body matter there as well. You can add more than one. Um, and, and you can do this throughout content. So let's, uh, I'm going to say stop there. I'm going to go up to, let's say, the title page and I'm going to mark that as the title page. It's already marked, but um, it's right there. So preliminary sections and components, title page, done. And then let's go down to the start of chapter two. I can't remember if this content is threaded. It's not. So I can apply semantics. If this was threaded, then you could apply semantics to this frame, but it wouldn't come out because the thread overrides that. I have a script that I use all the time called break text thread. So let's just go to the third page of this chapter. And how this works is you double click it and then you move the window into the right window and you say um, break the text thread before or after this um, and then uh, I could say after that selected frame and it says one frame broken. So now this is no longer through. It's still threaded. Why is it still threaded? Did I have the wrong frame selected? Let's try that again. Oh my goodness, it keeps going to the wrong screen. So after, this is the last frame in that story. Oh, I see. It did work. It just worked on the frame after. Got it. 
wasn't paying attention. Um, so it does work. It works really nicely if you want to if you want to keep a whole book threaded from beginning to end for typesetting purposes, and that's nice to do just in case things reflow and you create a new page. There's reasons to keep everything in one thread, um, solid typesetting reasons. But once you get to creating the ebook, you might want to separate the chapters and the various elements, and that becomes handy for applying EPUB type semantics. Now the bad news is that EPUB type semantics are essentially meaningless. They are not taken up in a meaningful way by any of the reading systems and InDesign really does need to, to update the choices that appear here under object export options. These need to be updated to ARIA labels um, and, uh, and ARIA rules and hopefully that will happen soon. I would encourage you to think of EPUB type these semantics here as scaffolding upon which to layer the more meaningful ARIA rules. ARIA rules are the more standard web-based technology that is better supported in browser and reading systems. There are tools out there that will help you map EPUB type to ARIA rules, but honestly, none I like well enough to recommend. I usually do it by hand. Um, and I freely admit that this workflow is imperfect and more than a little kludgy. But until the Indes InDesign engineers update these semantics, this will have to do when InDesign is a major part of how you get to the EPUB stage.